Okay, it is that time. It is Weekly Tuesday Weigh-In. Compared to last Tuesday, I broke 200 pounds. I was 199 pounds. Let's see what I am this morning. All right, let's go. Oh my God. I am 197. Point five. Yes. Last week I was 199. This week I'm 197.5. I actually lost 1.5 pounds. Congratulations! 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 Hey, it's me, Natural Z, and welcome back to my channel where I feature a few journeys, and they are my natural hair journey, my fitness journey, and my weight loss journey at my current age of 56 years old. But right now, with this current time, I am featuring one journey mostly, and that is my weight loss journey, because in November, I weighed myself and I weighed the heaviest I've ever weighed in my life. I weighed 205 pounds and I decided at that time I need to lose weight. So I am looking to lose 25 pounds or more by July 2022. My goal weight is 175 pounds. What I've been doing is just showing week to week to week my uh, weight loss journey as far as what I'm doing, what I'm eating, and just showing you highlights. And I'm looking to lose a pound a week. I know that sounds very slow, very boring, but if you lose your weight slowly, there's a better chance of it staying off. So I am showing you guys in real time my weight loss journey. My journey is about what the time frame it takes to lose weight. You will not lose a lot of weight overnight. There is a measure of patience, determination, and doing what you need to do to lose weight. So with that said, today's date is Wednesday, January 26, 2022. I weigh myself every week on Tuesday. So I have a weekly Tuesday weigh-in, which obviously if today is Wednesday, yesterday was weigh-in. I weighed myself and I did lose my one pound that I was looking to lose. And on top of that, I broke the 200 pound barrier. So I'm happy about that because two weeks in a row, I was at 200 pounds. I did not lose weight for two weeks, but I may have lost fat, but it did not show on the scale. So there are two things when it comes to losing weight. Don't just focus on the scale or the number. You also may be losing fat, but it does not reflect on the scale yet. So today is Wednesday. Um, I am continuing my diet and I'm just appearing on camera right now because I want to give you guys an idea of what I'm going to eat today and what I ate yesterday actually. Following my weigh-in yesterday, I continued on my diet by eating foods that will contribute to helping me lose weight and what I ate was my oatmeal which I've been eating on a regular basis for breakfast for the last few weeks. I'm not sick of it yet, so I will continue to eat it. I will probably eat it today. And then for lunch yesterday, I had a smoothie. And then for dinner, ate four ounces of salmon, some steamed broccoli and carrot, and then a half a cup of white rice. 
So yesterday I ate pretty lean. And in fact, I ate so lean by 10 o'clock last night i was kind of hungry so i broke down and had some graham crackers and some sharp cheddar cheese but overall i ate pretty lean yesterday and i'm going to try and do the same thing today i think i will stick with the same foods i ate yesterday and eat those today so i'm going to start today off with breakfast with my oatmeal and what I really like about it is all the fresh fruit that I have in it. Um, I have blueberries, I have banana, I have green apple, and date paste. So it tastes really good. Mm. All right, so I'll check in later, show you what I'm eating for lunch. I am going to work out today. It's a beautiful day today. And I'll probably just work out in, actually I don't know yet. I might work out in my garage and ride my spinning bike, lift weights, or I might go to the park. I don't know yet, but it's a gorgeous day today. So I'll be doing something and hopefully I can bring you along and show you what I'm going to do. All right, back to work for now. All right, so this is my snack lunch. I'm not sure, but it is 1.48 right now. And I need to eat something. Haven't eaten since breakfast. And it is a good time to do that. Haven't worked out yet, but I've decided that I'm gonna work out in the garage because the park that I usually go to uh, on Wednesday they have landscaping so there's a lot of blowers out there and I just don't want it to affect my breathing so we're gonna eat this and an hour from now probably gonna go work out in the garage do my spinning bike and do some kind of strength training there it is and this smoothie consists of frozen blueberries, one fresh banana, third cup of Greek yogurt, some ice, and some date paste. And I always forget, it also has one quarter cup of raw walnuts. My stomach is growling, so I must be hungry. This is not gonna fill me up. Not enough fat in it, but it'll satisfy for right now. And it's healthy.
avocado and I am going to make guacamole to put on some sourdough bread. I have not eaten since breakfast this morning. I had my oatmeal breakfast this morning. It is now one o'clock and I am hungry and I am going to eat avocado toast. So here is my avocado and I'm going to add some pico de gallo. Okay, so this is what my guacamole is looking like. I am so hungry, I'm actually shaking a little bit. Okay. It'll do, but I will definitely be hungry later. So I'll check in later today, Thursday. See you later. Welcome to Cardio in the Park. It's 4.30, the sun is setting, so that is why I have the harsh light. But I did my jumping rope, and now I'm doing uh, strength training exercises using a weighted vest. <sighs> I'm about to leave, uh, go home and work a little bit more and I plan to make dinner tonight and I'll let you know if I like it. All right, check in later. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, back to the music. We have a very special trip. All right, so here is my dinner. I tried to duplicate a packaged food that I get from Trader Joe's. I tried to duplicate this dish here and it is the mushroom fettuccine uh, pasta with cremini oyster and shiitake mushrooms sugar snap peas and roasted tomatoes in a creamy porcini mushroom sauce well what i did is i looked on youtube found a similar recipe and i am just going to use a sauce from soup 
and it's the mushroom sauce and I actually just used a half a cup of that which was only 60 calories I have pasta I sauteed my mushrooms also my snap peas I microwaved them first and then put it put it in the pan and yes and then I cut up some tomatoes at the end and just added them and let them get warmed up in the dish so that is it and I'm gonna try it on camera. Hopefully I will like it. Um, as far as the pasta, I probably have about three ounces and it's a wide pasta. It looks really good. And so that'll be about 250 calories. So most of the calories are in the mushroom sauce and the pasta and the vegetables, mushroom and the snap peas don't have very many calories, so. And even with the mushroom sauce, I only used a half a cup and that is 60 calories. So, oh, the other thing that has a lot of calories is I, sa I sauteed the mushrooms in olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And two tablespoons of that is like 100 calories each. So there's quite a few calories in that. So, bon appetit. I used a lot of salt. Probably could have came back on the salt, but because the sauce itself already has a lot of salt in it, but it's good. So next time I'll know not to use as much salt. Besides that, it's good. And this is a meatless dish. I could see myself adding shrimp to it. It would be really good. So for right now, it is a meatless dish and the mushroom acts as my meat. So that is going to be my dinner for tonight, Thursday, January 27, 2022. And I can say this week I've done fairly well with my diet. Haven't drank any alcohol, haven't ate any potato chips. Um, what else haven't I do? Oh, I haven't had any peanut butter and jelly with crackers. So. I'm doing fairly well this week so far. All right, I'll see you later. Checking in later, have a good night. Hey y'all, it's me, Naturally Z. Welcome back to my channel where I do feature my current journey which is my weight loss journey i am looking to lose 25 pounds by july 2022 today is friday january 28th 2022 and my goal is to lose one pound a week that's how i came up with 25 pounds by july 2022 so i got that all calculated in my head knowing exactly what I want to do. So with that in mind, I am bringing you guys along on the journey to lose my white, my white, no, not my white. <laughs> Ooh, that was a total slip. I want to premise this with, I am not a nutritionist. I'm not a dietitian. And with this weight loss journey, I've taken a new approach to losing weight this time around because in the past I lost weight by out exercising a bad diet so in this case now that I'm 56 years old my body does not respond to out exercising a bad diet I now need to have a good diet because it has come to my attention by all my research that you need to restrict calories. So that means that you eat less calories than you burn. Wait a minute, let me put that, let me, let me have that soak in my head because I'm trying to, you need to eat less calories than you burn. What is it? Yeah. Burn more calories than you eat. Well, if you do exercise weight, burn more calories than you eat in order to lose weight. So, same thing applies when it comes to eating. You need to eat less calories, 
burn more calories so that your calorie situation will help you to lose weight. And in the past, I was able to out exercise the calories that I ate in order to lose weight. That does not work anymore when you are older. So this approach moving forward to losing weight, I am actually paying attention to my diet. Hey, it's me Naturally Z and it is, um, what day is it? It is actually Saturday, January 29th, 2022 so if you haven't figured it out yet I am on a weight loss journey looking to lose 25 pounds by July 2022 with a short-term goal of losing a pound a week and with that I'm working on refining my diet instead of upping my exercise because I try to out exercise a bad diet for many years and I have figured out it doesn't work so that doesn't mean I'm not going to work out I'm just going to work out smarter and on the diet side what I ate so far today Saturday this morning I have breakfast consisting of mainly protein I had eggs scrambled eggs with salmon a piece of sourdough toast lips are so dry sourdough toast and with a little butter and jelly on top so yeah so mainly my breakfast consisted of protein which is fine and good for building muscle but I'm hungry again and it's 10 it's almost 11 o'clock and I ate at 10 o'clock so eating only protein does not satisfy you or fill you up but I can't really eat anything now because I'm going to my training session and I don't want to feel full and end up sluggish. So I'm going to eat afterwards and I'll let you know what I eat then. Okay, until later, peace. Hey, it's still Saturday, January 29th, 2022. I'm back in my apartment in Santa Monica and it is about almost five o'clock and I'm starving. I am having some wine and I am making my lunch slash dinner right now and I am going to have pasta only two ounces and it's going to be pesto and I'm using this pesto sauce mix right here I'm going to add some broccoli I am going to include shrimp so I'm having a little bit of everything and that is going to be my lunch dinner now the issue here is after I eat I am going to be going to my boyfriend's house I know he's going to make something and I am going to have to monitor what I eat and I know we're going to be drinking he doesn't really know that I'm on a diet he knows I've gained weight but he is such a good boyfriend at the same time he gets on my nerves that he would never say anything to me so it's all about self-monitoring as well as conscious eating it's also self-monitoring and I'm not going to bother him with me dieting he is very slim and I am not in fact we're the same weight which he has a problem gaining weight I have a problem losing weight so all right I have to get off the camera right now because my pasta is almost finished and then I need to make my pesto sauce mix and I need to eat I am hungry anyway I'm taking you guys along on the actual real life weight loss journey where there are bumps in the road it's not all pretty and dandy and you eat the exact things that you need to eat so and I still plan to lose 25 pounds by July of 2022 with the understanding I'm trying to lose one pound a week go Z go Z all right so I wanted to show you my lunch dinner and it is oh my gosh 
it's almost six o'clock it's actually 5 45 and i have to be out of here by six o'clock to go to my boyfriend's house but i am starving after a full day of working out playing paddle tennis and only having breakfast so what i made is this pasta dish consisting of spaghetti some broccoli some pre-cooked shrimp and a pesto sauce mix I'm not gonna eat all of this, but I'm gonna eat a little bit of it so that my stomach stopped growling. Mm. Mm. Pasta is so good with the pesto sauce. Also, I added on top of it a little bit of this grated Parmesan cheese. Here's my vegetable and here's my wine and I'm still on that path to lose 25 pounds by July 2022 hey I want to let you know I ate the whole thing It is Monday, January 31st, 2022. I will be weighing myself tomorrow on my weekly Tuesday weigh-in. Sunday did not record at all, and that is because I was at my boyfriend's house watching football, the Rams versus the Niners, Rams won, and we ate and drank. I did more drinking than eating, so, I'm not sure how it's going to affect my weigh in tomorrow, but we will still weigh in and just acknowledge that I had wine both on Saturday as well as Sunday. Today I am not drinking. I don't drink Monday through Friday and I have eaten very healthy so far. It is now three o'clock in the afternoon. I had my staple breakfast this morning of oatmeal and then for lunch I had a salad, one of those pre-packaged salads from Trader Joe's and now I'm having a snack which is my smoothie in a bowl. I'm going to eat this, work out later, sorry for the bad lighting, and I will check in tomorrow with my weekly Tuesday weigh-in and look forward to seeing what I weigh tomorrow. Okay, until later, this is Naturally Z. Peace.